Now, before we get too far, I would like to say thank you very much to my SHOT Show 2024 sponsors. Maxpedition, Phoenix, Nightcore, Viridian Weapon Technologies, Tops Knives, and Magna Lens. Hey everybody, I'm Craig with Tops Knives, here with Outer Limitless, and we're going to talk about some of our prototypes, and first, we're going to talk about our next new release. This guy right here is called the Armado 6.5. This is a blade that was designed by Josh Navarrete. He is a custom knife maker out of Oregon. Um, he has a charity organization where he, he works with vets who, uh, who need to pound on some steel and deal with some things. And, and uh, you know, great dude all around, great design. This is, uh, this is one of our larger releases for this year. It's gonna be a 3 16 1095 blade with a sniper gray Cerakote, uh, which is a very, very dark gray. If you're, if, if you're not looking closely at it, it almost looks black, but it's not quite. Um, it's a tan canvas handle with red liners. Black Kydex sheath with a leather dangler is the uh, default setup on this. Great large blade for, uh, you know, most outdoor tasks. Um, not quite machete size, but it's also not a small knife either. So I'm excited about this one. This one's gonna be really cool. Coming out probably about two weeks after SHOT Show. All right, so now we're getting into blades that have, uh, that have not been previously shown. The first one that we're gonna talk about is, uh, is one that I'm most excited about this year. This is, uh, we don't even have a name for it yet. This is just being called Prototype B1. And uh, basically we're naming it this so that people can say, hey, I was looking at your prototypes, that B1 was pretty cool. It's just to delineate. Um, this was designed by Leo Espinosa, who is the main designer of Topps Knives. The first one that he made is actually in my pocket. So he made this custom for me as a, as a gift for Christmas. Um, he ended up making two. He made one for himself, made one for me. And we, everybody that he showed it to was like, you can't just make the two, like we're gonna have to make this, we're gonna have to add this to the line. It's just, it's that cool looking. Um, so great little, great little blade. It is, uh, if I remember right, this is 330 seconds thick, 1095. So it's, it's like kitchen knife thin. Um, prototype here has black G10 liners on top of, or underneath of tan G10. It's, uh, this, this I see as like a mini boning knife. It'd be great as a pairing knife. Uh, I see a lot of kitchen type uses on this. I see a lot of EDC uses with this. Um, if you need to, this would be great as a stabbing or slashing implement. Um, it's just it's just a cool looking knife. And uh, you know, we're I'm, I'm pretty happy that Leo did decide to go ahead and, and put this in the line because like I say, as soon as people started seeing this, Everybody in the shop was like, Leo, I, I need one of those, I need one of those, I need one of those. So, um, here we are. And, uh, yeah, this one's going to be very cool. I'm excited for it. Um, a lot of what we have for new models this year are small. We've got, uh, we've got some larger blades, but the, the hit, I would say, so far, this, this SHOT Show, has been the minis that we brought. So... Some of our large, most popular blades are things like El Chete, El Chapo, uh, the Frog Market Special, the Wild Pig Hunter, uh, the Brothers of Bushcraft. You know, there's a lot of knives that we have that are very, very popular. And we brought with us three prototype miniatures. They are right here. We've got El Chete, the Frog Market Special, and El Chapo. And it was... Not necessarily a joke to make these, but it was something that we wanted to we wanted to kind of like flush out this idea of there's some guys out there that make miniature knives that are full on knives, but they're just they're way smaller than these. But um, we kind of like that idea, but we also like making stuff that gets used. And so we made these to see just to gauge what people would think. Is this something that they would actually use? Like is a mini El Chete? still as good as the full-size El Chete? Like, is it still a, a good knife? And, uh, you know, obviously there might be some dimensional issues with the handle, but other than that, it's just a cool-looking knife. 
And uh, so basically what we did with these is we used the same steel, we used the same finish, we used the same handles, um, messed around with, the, with size and maybe thicknesses. And so the El Chete is, is, if I put this up against the full size, really the only difference is just the, uh, the dimension here where your index finger would go. Um, other than that, this is like a 60% shrunken version of the, of the full size model. Um, so we're calling it a mini, but it's, I mean, it's pretty funny. We're still looking at like, you know, probably like a five inch blade or so, right? So mini it is not, but compared to the full size El Chete it is. Um, El Chapo, same thing. There's a little bit of a change here just to, just to fit well in the, in the hand. But even without messing around with, with, uh, with anything other than shrinking it down, this knife just already kind of works. It already kind of fits. Uh, it's, good. it's a good two to three finger handle, depending on the size of your hand. Um, nice and comfortable. Mm, I see this being, for me, like a cheese knife. I have a, I have a buddy who is actually his job is cheese scientist. The guy literally works for a, for a company that makes cheese and he, he gets to mess around with flavors and try to develop new cheeses and things like that. So uh, I, could see this, I could see this going along with some of the fancy cheese I have in my fridge. Um, and then the Frog Market Special, this one to me is, is the one that is like the most like a knife already. It's, it's a simple handle to begin with. It's a simple blade to begin with. So shrinking this down or blowing it up, you don't have to mess around much with, with shapes to make it work, um, especially small. Like as, it, as we got this thing down to size, again, another two, maybe three finger handle. Um, I would use this as it is. I wouldn't change a single thing. I, I would put this in a sheath, throw it in my pocket and carry it around all day. Um, so, very cool, very cool concept we got going on here with the minis. Um, again, they're the same steel, same finishes and handles, just maybe different thicknesses on things um, as their full-size counterparts. Next up, this is from our employee design challenge. So every year for the last five or six years, we've done an employee design challenge where we ask our employees to design a knife. Every year we give them some, uh, some parameters. We say, hey, we want you to do a knife and it's gonna be this. Last year's design was, let's make a knife that's six inches or less in overall length. We want a neck knife. Normally we'll give more than that. We'll say, hey, we want this style of blade or we want this type of tip or we want it to be used for this type of activity. This last year was, was nothing like that. It was just make a neck knife, six inches or less. And uh, so we received from our, from our employees at least 20 designs. If I remember right, it was like 22 or 23. And every year we're just getting better and better submissions. There were easily like five knives that Leo and I were talking about. We were like, we could make this with very small changes and it'd be perfect in the way. Um, so that's cool and it's going really well. This year's winner was, uh, ended up being just a straight up utility blade. Straight edge, uh, worn cliff, this is very, very, almost, I mean, it almost looks like a razor blade. It almost looks like a box cutting knife, just full tang, 1095, you know, top, top style. It's, it's thicker, but it's got a high grind. So it's gonna be, it's gonna be a strong tip. It's gonna be a slicey blade, but it is gonna have a little bit of heft to it, even though it's very small. Um, so yeah, this one's gonna be cool. Uh, who won it? The, so, the name on this, Ivy, the guy that won it is named Cody Ivy. And uh, that's why it's not spelled like the plant. Um, so yeah, uh, my car to handles, this actually has a white G10 liner rather than a, like a, the normal liners that we use. We we're kind of playing around with the idea of using those, using G10 liners going forward on our models. So I dig that one. Next up is the Karambit Kukri. This is, uh, this is a design that was brought to us by one of our dealers in the Midwest. He, is, uh, he owns a cigar shop and sells knives out of it. So very much kind of like a man cave type atmosphere in, in his store. And uh, he's, been a, he's been a fan of Tops for a long time. And um, it might have been two years ago that he sent us this drawing. I don't remember exactly when it was, but he sent us this drawing. And uh, it's one of those where Leo was like, you know what, that's, that's interesting there's not a lot of karambits like this uh i dig this and i want to I, I do want to make it 
So it's got kind of your standard karambit handle, um, but the blade shape is kukri. So what's interesting about that is most, most of your kind of traditional karambits, they're gonna be a hawkbill blade, maybe a little bit shorter blade than, than what this guy has, but it still has that forward curve first, and then we get the belly of a kukri. And so you've got kind of a normal knife here that you can use for a lot of different things, but you can still use it as a full-on karamb. So in the forward grip, you've got a nice, you've got a nice point and a nice angle for stabbing. In the reverse grip, you've got a lot of hole type cutting with a, with that recurve, which would be just nasty deep cuts. Um, you know, so cool blade, interesting concept. Uh, more and more, you'll see karambits out there that have kind of a uh, standard blade or I mean we even we make the cut 4.0 and and which is still one of our top sellers which is a drop point blade on a karambit handle so that karambit handle makes a lot of sense with a lot of different blade shapes and we're just kind of we're playing off of that here with this this kukri shaped karambit so um, yeah this is very cool last but not least this this one is going to be released this year um, Hopefully, hopefully in the first half of the year, we did debut this one last year. But um, I do want to—I just wanted to show everybody we, we've made some progress on the steel type. We went from a 1095 prototype to a 154 CM blade, so it's a stainless steel uh, G10 handles. It is um, this is a distressed black Cerakote finish. So we do we do the, our own Cerakote in house, so we can play around with with uh, distressing and different kinds of finishes and, and whatnot. Um, so since this is stainless anyway, some distressing looks just looks really cool. Um, what I like about this blade is we only have a we only have three or four knives like this where there's a full size handle with a short blade. A lot of short blades have short handles. Like the Ivy for example, short blade, really short handle. This guy has a short blade with a full size handle. You get a full grip, you get all the purchase you need with a blade with a blade length that is great for most things. I mean, this would be good for fish. This would be good for your everyday cutting tasks, boxes, packages, all that kind of stuff. Um, you know, you're not chopping with it, of course, but most of what you need to cut, that blade is plenty long. And uh, so, yeah, that's why we're excited about this one. Hopefully, it'll be out, like I say, early this year, before June. You know, before Blade Show would be ideal for us. And that's that's uh, that's the kind of the time frame we're trying to work off of. So, um, so yeah, that's where we're at. We have more knives. We got plenty to show. Uh, but this is what we wanted you guys to get a taste of today. Again, uh, Eric, thank you so much for showing up. We always we always like talking to you, and, and uh, it's always good to to hang out and, and chat about knives. So, thanks for stopping by, and we'll see you on the next one.